o'clock, we have a quorum. We'll call the bylaw committee to order. And first, this for everybody's information, the bylaw meetings are now going to be recorded and available on YouTube or Hadley Public TV. The uh, first order of business is to approve the minutes of the last few minutes of the committee. <laughs> no, last 17 meeting. <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> no, you haven't done anything else. Not yet. Okay, I know you've been busy with more than enough stuff. Um, Red, sorry. I know, is, did you see Tommy pull in, or is he on? He the was board? right behind me. He was. We just finished an inspection. So. Oh, okay. So he should be coming. Okay. <laughs> we've uh, we right now we have three bylaw articles that would be on the town meeting warrant next month. Uh, one would be the waste and streets that uh, Tim has drawn up. One is the revision of the constables and the other one is the one that uh, Mike has for putting something on solar panels at the outside for the names and addresses and stuff. I don't think the town common bylaw is going to be quite ready uh, for that one. There's one. Uh, I'd like to kind of make sure that we do a good job putting that together. Right now, I've only had like one or two drafts. We have a little bit of input until we can discuss it today. But I don't want to just put something on there just to get it on there because I'm not sure that that's really that critical that we get for right now for the fall. We can do that when the spring town meeting. So we'll just hit with uh, the constable one. Is something that originally we we're just going to get rid of the constable chapter 453 entirely but then after Jessica made a comment that she'd still like to have somehow the uh, have constables appointed to go to the elections and stuff like that so it, uh, Mitch gave me some wording that the chief of police would uh, select constables and a select board would appoint them so they would work together for up for, for uh, that to exceed two years, they could decide how many constables were appropriate, but they would be facilitate port warrants, town business, serve as election officials, and the state law actually has a uh, master in the law in chapter various things addressing the appointment of a constable and what their duties are and their non care their, their non gun carrying appointees or the, the select board could make them are able to do that if they want to but while you understand the constables we have right now don't want to carry guns they just want to do <laughs> the paperwork stuff mm -hmm. and but under state law current constables have the full authority of a regular police person without any of the training and that's what we're trying to address to make sure that they just do what we want them to be able to do and not, you know, we've always had good constables. I'm not questioning anything that's ever happened. We aren't questioning anybody, but we want to avoid a potential problem down the road. So the wording that's in there was kind of what Mitch has suggested. I think it's a good wording that the select board will appoint, the police chief will recommend, and they'll be appointed for two year terms and do the duties that are necessary is basically the paperwork type of our duties. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that should take care of your concerns and get you the people that you like without having to be a lot of aggravation. That's a simple one. Do we need to make a motion to make that recommendation to the select okay. board? Yeah, 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 yes, that's a good point. The as uh, amended. The uh, select we at the last meeting, because we're appointed committee, we don't have the authority to put items on the warrant just ourselves. If we wanted to, we'd have to go through a 10 person, a 10 petition article, which we could do, but the problem with a 10 petition article is the wording that we put forward is exactly what goes on the warrant, and it can't be changed until town meeting, so if there's a minor correction, it can get very confusing on town meeting floor. So. Um, I don't think the select board is going to have select board will have any any problem with what we suggest. We got a motion by Jessica. I'll second. A second by Paul. Any other com comments on it? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Both present. Then we got the one that Tim proposed of waste in streets. Um, it's got the uh, what you can do, what you can't do. 
And then the penalties and violations, which is pretty straightforward. Um, the only thing that select when, oh, yeah, that's why right. waste district, that's fine, that's a different article. Uh, any comments? Yes. I just have a question. And I mean, I have a problem at, at my property where we have, just two weeks ago, I had bags of garbage dumped on my, fell out of a truck that were on the side of the road by my property. I have litter there at, at Hadley Crossing. <coughs> um, some of it is coming from across the street, and I have addressed it with the property owner over there, and they have, in fact, come over, picked up some of it, and they are doing a better job. But, you know, I guess my concern is for people who are, who, are, who have properties that are constantly seem to be the litter collection site where people throw things out the windows, traffic lights, things like that. Is this going to be an issue for them? Because we're finding anybody, if you can't find who did it, the property owner is responsible is the way I read this. And so what I know this isn't an our, our intent per se, but I guess and it, it, maybe it's, it's fine the way it is, but um, that was my only question here. Well, certainly we can't address every single thing that right. could ha possibly happen. Yes. And I think that we've noticed that town of Hadley, we got very reasonable type mm -hmm. of officials yep. that, you know, if something is stated to them that, that it's it's an ongoing issue, yep. that I think that nobody's going to nobody's be, gonna be per Yeah, I just yeah. Uh, fine, but you know, certainly it might help actually having the police or somebody patrol the area a little bit more to see if we can find that person yep. that might be yep. dumping illegally. Yeah. But we've uh, we've had illegal dumping in the past, and uh, there's always an eagle eye someplace, okay. <laughs> as we have noticed. Question yeah. on the waste. Somebody, I people, oh, see, who's responsible for this one? I hire a lawn service company to mow my lawn, and they blow it into the street. Who's responsible for that? The lawn service company? I would me? say the lawn service because they're the ones that are putting it. Okay, in. now. This puts an unreasonable burden, in my opinion, on the enforcing officer. How are they going to go after them? How do they know which law service company did that? My feeling is it should be the property owner that's responsible because they hired the law service company. Yeah, but they're not the ones that are putting the refuse but, on but, there. But why should we put the burden of going after somebody on a town official to chase down a law service company? I, I, if, if I was the official, I would talk to the homeowner and say, hey, do yep. yourself a favor, do everybody a favor, talk to your lawn service and make sure it doesn't happen. We certainly have that on our street as a major issue um, as the lawn services are throwing everything into the street. So who would you first go to? You I, I, I would think it, it's my property I'm responsible for what comes off of my property into the street, even if it's a lawn service company. I mean, that should be spelled out in here that the property owner responsible, because otherwise, if he's the enforcing officer, now he's going to chase some lawn service company around down that could be out of, you know, out of the area, and it's going to put a a lot of work on the on the enforcing officer. Whereas if I hired him. It's my responsibility to make sure that they don't put so you the like to have a little. But no, see, legally, I'm 99% sure legally once it's off of your property, so that property line, mm -hmm. which is where the majority of it's going to be blown off, the homeowner is not responsible. But are not even responsible to give that name once it hits that property line. Mm. Doesn't C take care of that though? I don't know about that, but is that well? Paragraph C here says a person or cannot be a uh, person or persons responsible for an activity which violates this law cannot be determined, and the person in lawful custody and or control of the premises, including but not limited to owner, mm -hmm. leasee, or occupant, shall be deemed. Oh, blah, yeah. blah, blah. okay. So See, that is, that covers it. Yes. I mean, yes I but that was that was what concerned yeah. me about the litter issue. Is you know, you know, I, I drive yes. up to my property sometime and it just it looks you know okay. not, what, not the way I'd like it to look. Okay. I go out there and collect it. Okay. Yeah. For you. See, see, you're right. You're right. I, I didn't. You're right. That that's a good point, Paul. C should address that one. Should address that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Very good. Must settles my concern. Anything else? No. I make a motion to uh, make the recommendation of the select board to approve this uh, amendment to section two eighteen. 
by adding a new section 218-5A and replacing section 218-9 in its entirety. I'll second. Motion second. Any other discussions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimous. And we'll get to the discussion of town common in a second. The, uh, did you have a way for yours, Mike, by any chance? No? Uh, I mean, I have what we have on, it's all already written up. Okay. As on, it's on the website. We're just somehow making it enforced by the bylaw. So it's a, it's a real simple change. This is required. It's just adding one section on here. Okay. So I don't know how you want to change this. Um, so, so it has this language. That, that's already the example. That, that's this a is bylaw already, or a this, state law? Uh, the state, this is under NFPA and electrical code. Okay. For this placard, we're just adding some language to it and we have, it's basically one solar company that's complaining about it. Okay. So. Well, with the bylaws yeah. stipulate. Uh, just that we want them to put the PV service provider on this placard. Okay. So, so if I, if you want to copy this, Tommy, would that make sense? Yeah. This, this document pretty, this is what we have on our website. So right you now. want to add. The Hadley. It'll, it'll be it'll be it'll it'll be under the fire code section, right? Yeah, yeah. Or and, no, we're and, we, and I think PV we're going to keep it on right. PV the name and the name, the name. What what do you want added? Name, address, contact. It's just emergency contact number, as as uh, as shown in example. Actually, I think we we're going to keep this under the uh, the solar bylaw. I thought. Okay. You can take. Your, the language is up at the top, so that's what's on the uh, website. Okay. So what section of the I'm pretty sure we have a where would it fit? Didn't you create a new solar bylaw? Jim, isn't there a new section? Yeah, we well we have a solar zone bylaw that talks about um you know where you can put the battery where you can put the battery stuff. stuff like that yeah. the question that i would have is that's if we put this onto the warrant is going to be effective for the date of the vote of town meeting but you want this effective the date of so when it went into effect would it effect that would have to be a regular bylaw regular bylaw yeah and that okay. that date would be when december 19th i believe of 2022 Okay, I can confirm that. Okay. Basically, what happened was the building commissioner, myself, and the electrical inspector met and decided that it's instead of having 42 different placards, we would incorporate one additional line on that placard that's required yeah. by electrical code. So it's mm -hmm. a pretty it's simple thing. <laughs> Control a placard label. Okay. They could just do that without. All of them are doing it. It's just yeah. one company that's complaining about okay. it. Basically. All right. Okay. <laughs> Go figure. I'll see if I can get that written. Was up. there another? Was there another part for that, Tommy? That we were. I think that was it. That was the big, big thing that they're. So what are the penalties for? If you don't. We won't approve their. They won't get their certificate of, of uh, for use. Okay. Um. Do you want? Do you need more than that? No, nope, no, nope, that's all I need. I, I wrote down kind of what you want. I'll put something together. Um, and if it can't be done for this one, we can spring. Yeah, I, I, I hesitate to vote to approve without anybody seeing the wording. Yeah. I can make sure that you approve and the rest of us think it. Don't shoot holes in it. Okay, so if we just get two on a warrant, that's all we get. That's right. fine. Okay. Um, the town common bylaw. I presented this to the Board of Selectmen at one of the last meetings we had with them when they were talking about how we're doing on bylaws and everything. And um, they said they have some regular, they have, the, the select board has some uh, regulations on using the bylaw now. But it's kind of, they do have something about police coverage if they're using both sides of the bylaw and about fees and stuff like that. Um, but they don't have a lot 
this is more, much more detailed, especially about damaging the town bylaw, the town common. Yeah, okay. That if they have an event out there and the town common gets ruts and everything else, right now the kind of the, the UPW goes out there and cleans it up. This puts the responsibility on the renting authority and much more comprehensive and even a lot of people that obviously abut the town common this bylaw addresses the or try to make this address the town common between the two roads on each side of the town common but the town common extends beyond the road to a little bit past the sidewalk on both sides of the road so what i'm saying is this puts this allows the people that live again and abut the town common to utilize those areas for reasonable things like, like a couple of yard, five times a year yard sale if you've got a farm you can put a farm stand out there seasonal farm stand different things like that um you can clear the snow uh, doesn't say anything about uh you know maintain maintain the drop maintain the grass it doesn't say because even the uh, select board asked me does it require anybody to clean the sidewalks and I says no and the reason for that is why should they be singled out if the rest of the town isn't required to, to clean sidewalks um, so if they clean the sidewalks great right, but it doesn't it's not required it's not required by any other bylaw and I don't know I personally have a have a concern with making people clean sidewalks in front of their house because a lot of the people that would be required to do that be very honest or elderly and probably not that capable of how do you clean it um you know especially along route nine now we didn't ask for that miles of sidewalk they're putting in on both sides of the road in fact we we very much argued against it when it was presented to us five years ago but we got them anyway um so any comments about what's in this wording so that we can hopefully get it ready for the spring town just have one simple thing why super majority why what you have um, under waivers and regulations that uh, you can be waived only by a super majority vote of the Hadley Select Board what was that that's in oh. 9a 216-99a Second page. Super. Oh, nothing. Okay. What is yeah. Okay. What about it? I, I just think super majority is kind of unreasonable for something. The only reason for that is I've seen in the past where is happening. That haven't happened with the select board, but there's a bunch of select, there's several select board members that are buddies with the applying authority. So you got a five member board, and three of them are buddies, are friends, very friendly with whoever's applying, so they waive the fee. But they don't, but it's, it's kind of hit or miss. Whereas if it's four people, the chance of having four members of the select board buddies with what was applying I'm, I'm being straight out honest here i'm not trying to hide anything the chance of getting four people that are friends with whoever's applying is much less then it's more likely to be yeah they deserve to have their fee weight as opposed to your buddies with me so i'm going to waive your fee that's all but if people disagree with that that's fine we can change it just to just a majority i don't think that's unreasonable I agree with what you're saying. You know, it's a, it's a five member board that requires four of them to be in favor of it. And usually, when they waive a fee, from what I've seen lately, it's usually all five members are in favor of it. Okay. So, I just ask um, 5A, section B, under 216 5. I would, I would request again, just because I think this should be something that it should be a meeting like right now we signed off on it with jennifer but i think it should be a conversation uh set up between myself the building commissioner and the police chief rather than it just being depending on the event the select board may deem fire or ambulance services necessary i would say all public safety departments 
should be like we try to do now. We try to have an upfront meeting on it. Just because the scope of it might not be what we think. If they have tents, it triggers Tommy and I doing an inspection. What, what, what number are you talking about? Yes, 216-5, yeah. use of common safety right. and restoration, and it's 5A, mm -hmm. subsection B. There's two, unfortunately, there's two 216-5s um, on this. But it's on the second page. Yeah, right. use of trees. 216. Yeah, it's under use yeah. of commons, safety and restoration. Okay, 5A. Two. Yep, 5A, subsection B. It's probably we're supposed to be. Oh, 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 you're seeing 5A, B, section, no, 5A, sub B, depending on the event the select board may deem fire emissary or be outside. So you want to say it? I don't think it should be, it shouldn't be deemed by the, the select board should approve it based upon our review with the group. You agree, Tom? Yes. I mean, okay. we could have no, a real simple yeah. farmer's market where they have a, and you know, 50 by 110. Okay. Yeah. So you just yeah. want to change That's deem right. to approve? What's that? You just want to change the word deem to approve? I would just like to try and add where it's a upfront, like we... Would it be with the approval of the fire services? Yeah. yeah um, Actually, I got a large menu, Stockbridge, their bylaws. Okay. Mass Emergency Management sent it out because all the fire chiefs have been asking about that as well. And there's some language in there I can try and drop yeah, in there for you. Yeah, why don't you tr try, you know. I just, I personally think it just needs to be a discussion among public safety. So meeting with the group yep. like we do with Asparagus Festival. Yep. A lot fine. of it might be nice that's and easy. Yeah, I got the, yeah. I got, I got the idea which one it is. Okay. Yeah. If that's okay. Yeah, I think that, no, that makes sense. Fine. It'll be safer that way. Yep. And I had a couple questions. Sure. Uh, let's see. Five C. Uh, some other portion. So we're talking about boots here when you talk about sublet. No groups shall sublet any portion to a, of their authorized. Should we talking about booths or are we talking about somebody? says, oh, I'm having a festival, and then they rent out another section to a different festival. Is it clear there? It's 5C. Yes, I see. Okay. Now, a majority of this bylaw was taken from the Belcher Town. Belcher Town was the only community I could find in the state that has a bylaw on their town complex. Okay. Of all the communities, I looked through all the big ones. You know, Littleton and on and on and on. I couldn't find anything in their regulations or bylaws addressing a town common. Belcher Town has a town common bylaw. So a lot of this was taken from them, so that money may very well have been from them. Okay. Um, I mean, I think that overall the thing is really well, well crafted. I just had a couple of questions. Yeah, no, that, that yeah. needs a good one. Don't, yeah. don't take it. Okay. Don't, I'm not going to yeah. take offense with any of this. All right. You know, people have concerns, bring them up so right. we get them addressed. And then 8B, because this this becomes a bylaw, so it's really hard to change if something changes in the future. Is And again, I'm, I'm not knowledgeable on this. Is NEC, the National Electrical Code, sufficiently broad for requirements, or should we put, or any other applicable, you know, building code? So that, that we don't have to go back to town meeting because suddenly there's a new code and we have to then amend our bylaw. Uh, again, this this was this one is unique to electrical power. So if they comply with NEC, does that cover everything? I can't imagine electrical. Would it be anything else? If they okay, comply with NEC, it should it's, be safe. It's actually under NFPA Chapter Thirteen. It's actually the electrical code. So I would I would agree. You should say NEC NFPA Chapter Thirteen and all applicable codes. NFPA. Yep. Just so Chapter Thirteen. Uh, uh, not Thirteen. It's just put NFPA, NFPA. electrical code. Electric. I'll get you the actual chapter. Okay. Go to regulations. Okay. Okay, then my last comment was in 9C, small c, motorized flying vehicles. Does that mean RC remote control planes, or does that include photographing drones, or or does that uh, hot air balloon, or you know, do we need to put a broader 
uh, thing there. And then that also, to me, also brought up, are we going to allow electric scooters and electric bikes and tricycles and other than for disability purposes on the common because the bike path has been taken over by electrical vehicles that come up very quickly and of course they'll do more running on a grass surface but um, just wondered whether we need to cover that there. No motorized, regular no, no motorized flying vehicles means exactly what it said. And that includes drones and everything. Of that was that was that was what. That well, was my question was whether a vehicle only applies that somebody can get in it, or whether it's device. In other words, whether we need a better, a different word like device or uh, that. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. Yeah. That's all. The words. It was more the let. Yeah, because this becomes you know in enforcement, it's going to become somebody's lawyer saying, oh well, that's not covered by this okay. nomenclature. That's all. So just. Do. Okay, so it should be a slash device. Device, yeah, vehicles, yeah, devices. Then, so I mean, do we want to say including but not limited <coughs> to drone? I mean, spell a few of these. A device could be a little got kids. Um, yeah, RC, 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 right, right. <laughs> right which, yeah, and we have wires there. We have other, you know, there's safety issues, not just okay. You know. So, in other words, we should have maybe talk about this one. Nine CC is what's permitted. There maybe should be another one specifically call it 9CD, what we're prohibiting. Right. Okay. Okay. Do you, you don't have to you don't have to be so specific to say because we fly a drone as part of public safety mm -hmm. all the time when we have those bigger events. Right. Okay. Do we have to say except for public safety use? Yes. Yeah. I, I, I would exclude public safety and handicapped um, and disability. Prohibited uses. Mm -hmm. We will say except for public safety and uh, handicapped. Because, you know, does not apply to public safety. And excess accessibility. accessibility. Yeah. And what do you want to call it? This accessibility. Is and accessibility? Yeah. 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 Uses. Can't use handicap anymore. No. <laughs> Change all that. No, so prohibited would be. motorized devices of any type? Yeah, I think I wouldn't do that. I would just say, well, hey, yeah. I mean, do we allow, I mean, the other thing is, do we allow bicycles to ride on there? I mean, if we have a bunch of kids who want to do the moto, you know, just racing up and down the, are we going to allow well, them? If they're, I'm, on the I'm, I'm assuming if it's a pedal bicycle, I'm not going to make people to be riding a pedal bicycle on grass, to be honest with you. But if they do, you know, so <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay. Um, electric bicycles, I would say they shouldn't be allowed. Now they're both. What? Now I, know, I know. Hybrids. I know they're both. <laughs> but, um, yeah. uh, you know, how, how specific can we actually get it until well, it's that's a problem? That's what I'm wondering. How, how that's fine. I just wanted to bring it up. So, so, for example, thing to bring up. so for example, we had our 350th and we had the fire muster and the trucks were driving on it. Is that, can, are we allowing vehicles on it? If somebody okay. wanted to have a car well, show on it? Does that's the select board approved. can waive certain requirements they at can. their discretion? Okay. Okay. That's fine. As long as that's in there. Yeah. So, not for you. Well, this, this section is about town residents anyway. It's, yeah, this it's one, more this about, about the general residents. usage yeah. for people. You know, I'm a resident of town. I want to go over there and I want to fly my, you know, whatever, you know, drone. Then, you know, I'd be covered under that. But if you're running an event, then it's part of the rules and regs as approved by the supermajority now of the event, okay. which makes sense. This is just for general practice. Okay. Just, just for general use. Mm -hmm. Some people over there. Okay. You concur with that? Yeah. Well, yeah. So on the motorized vehicles, I want to put electrical devices, electric or combustion, so that people don't say, well, I've got a such and such. Oh, yeah. Good point. Yeah, you know. Um, all right. So I can't fly my hot air balloon over there? 
Is that motorized? Um, that's not motorized. Listen, I had two of them laying in my parking lot. I would lay over it. Bay if Road. you could, you can, you, well, a, a hot air balloon could land on a town common. There's nothing that says they couldn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, so but it's not the motorized. Shit, right? It's not going to really do any damage. You just can't drive your car on there to pick up the motorized. You're going to have to carry the balloon <laughs> off <laughs> and the basket. <laughs> the chase vehicle is going to have to stay <laughs> on the sidewalk <laughs> where uh, it will be ticketed for parking <laughs> illegally. <laughs> Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, who gets the champagne for that? I know, right? Yeah. Oh, that, that's the whole champagne and orange juice. Yeah. Usually, that's what I've seen. Yeah. The one time that I had a hot air balloon, right? Anyways, okay, so I will make those changes. We can talk about it next time. So, what's the relationship between the bylaw and the regulations? Is this just incorporating the existing town there's common regulations? The, the, the select board has regulations. I don't know where they are. I don't know if okay. they're written someplace um, or if they're, I, I, I can't comment on how, where the regulations are for anybody to see what they look like. This would be a bylaw by itself. If we can get, if we hopefully get it to the town meeting and the select board agrees to put it out of the warrant. So should we make sure that this bylaw doesn't conflict with the existing regulations? If I, yes. Okay. Yes. If I can find the regulation someplace, I will certainly make sure that I don't think it does, but that's a good point. Yeah. I also know that there's a couple of farms on West Street, and during corn season and all that stuff, you have all their workers parking on the common. That's what we just want to stop. So you know, you don't think you're going to get any pushback regarding that? I'm sure we will. But the thing is, they shouldn't be parking on a town common. Period. Uh, people right. who have parties to access, they always well, now, if somebody, Now, if somebody has a, a once a year party and parks in a town common, I don't think there's a problem with that. But to make regular parking, like we, we finally addressed uh, the restaurant that was parking on, on the town common and, made, and they wore the grass right out. It's only now starting to come back. They, that was finally addressed and stopped. Um, and if the cars are continually parking on the town common because they don't have, well, they should be able to park in the in their on their on their property. They should park on the, on the even if they park in the area between the road and their house. In other words, uh, not not with the town common property, but the outside edges. Let them park there on their property. Why should they park on a town common? Okay. That's my opinion. That they shouldn't be parking. If there was, there was somebody that dropped a load of hay on the town common because they couldn't get into the yard. <coughs> so, um, possession is nine tenths. Any, yeah. anything else? No. Um, anything on the riverfront? We're still waiting for the. Waiting on that. Okay, the bike, uh, the, uh, appeal there. Um, okay. Any assign any updates on all the assignments that we've had? We handed out a few meetings ago on the bylaws themselves. Nobody. Uh, we spent a lot of time. I don't want to get into bylaws. These few bylaws going, so I would expect not a lot of updates. Do you want to review that list? I know everybody had little assignments on it. Um, well, all right. Once we get these bylaws into uh, at our next meeting, we'll probably spend a lot more time on reviewing the assignments that we've given out the last few meetings and going to try to get this going today. Anybody have anything else? Okay. Do you need a motion? Oh, wait a minute. looking for stuff. Oh, okay. Okay. So, motion to adjourn. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sorry. Mike will get me, <coughs> uh, I'll get everybody out for the solar bylaw, the, uh, what we want to put on for probably the annual town meeting. I'll make a few changes to the town common and try to find, try to get the regulation that the select board uses for using stuff now for the town to make sure, to your point, that there's no conflict. And we'll have that for our next meeting. We can discuss those for the annual town meeting in the spring. And then we can get into back to the reviewing the uh, assignments we had on 
different sections of the bylaw itself, the general bylaw. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye